In this lesson, we're going to go over multiplying polynomials. In this first problem, we have two monomials that we're multiplying together. So we're going to multiply the 7 and 4 and get 28. Then we have x to the third times x squared. When you're multiplying with same bases, you add their exponents. So you get a total of x to the fifth. So here's our final answer, 28x to the fifth. For part b, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply negative 2 times 7 to get negative 14. Next, we have x to the 1 times x to the 1 is going to make x squared. And then you also are going to include the y. So you get negative 14x squared y. So you get negative 14x squared y. For part c, we have a binomial times a binomial. So when you have that, you're going to FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. So we're going to take the first term of each parentheses and we're going to multiply. 3 times 1 makes 3. Outer, we take the outer term from each parentheses, so we're going to go 3 times x. Then inner is the inner number on each parentheses, so positive 4x times positive 1 makes positive 4x. The L stands for last, so you take the last term in each parentheses, so we have 4x times another x makes 4x squared. And then you want to check to see if any terms combine, so let's go ahead and simplify. 3x plus 4x makes 7x, and drop down the 3. So you end up getting 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. For this next example, we have 2 plus 3x quantity squared. So before you multiply, you need to rewrite it as 2 plus 3x times itself 2 plus 3x. So now we're going to FOIL. First is 2 times 2 makes 4. Outer is going to make 6x. Inner is also going to make 6x. And last is going to make 9x squared. Finally, we just want to rewrite this and combine like terms. So there's our final answer. For part E, we're going to rewrite it, and now we're ready to FOIL. So you're going to do first, outer, inner, last. Make sure when you multiply the outer and the inner, you get negative 10x and negative 10x. And then last is a negative times a negative, which makes positive 4x squared. And last step, we're going to rewrite it and combine these terms in the middle. So you get 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. This example says x minus 3 times the quantity 7 minus 8x minus 2x squared. So since we have a binomial times a trinomial, we're going to distribute. So we're going to take this x and we're going to distribute it to all three terms over here. Then we're going to take the negative 3, distribute it to all three terms, and then we'll combine like terms. So let's go ahead and multiply the x to all of these terms. So we get 7x minus 8x squared minus 2x cubed. Next, we're going to distribute the negative 3. Next, we're going to multiply negative 3 times 7 and get negative 21. I'm going to put negative 21 over here. You'll see why in just a second. Negative 3 times negative 8x makes positive 24x. I'm going to line it up under this x term. And finally, negative 3 times negative 2x squared makes positive 6x squared. I'm going to write it right here. So now we have like terms lined up and we can add going down. So 24x plus 7x makes 31x. Negative 8x squared plus 6x squared makes negative 2x squared. And we're going to drop this term down. The last step is I want to put this in standard form. So here's our final answer, negative 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 31x minus 21. For this example, we have another binomial times a trinomial. So I want to distribute again. We're going to take the 2x, distribute it to all three of these terms. Next, we're going to take the negative 1 and distribute to all these terms. And again, as we get each term, I want to write it so that they're lined up underneath the top ones. So negative 1 times 4 makes negative 4. Negative 1 times x makes negative x. I'm going to put it underneath this 8x. And negative 1 times negative 5x squared makes positive 5x squared. Next, we're going to combine like terms going down. And the very last step is we're going to rewrite this in standard form. So you get negative 10x cubed plus 7x squared plus 7x minus 4. This example has a binomial times a trinomial. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to distribute the 2x to all three of these terms. So 2x times 4x squared makes 8x cubed. 2x times negative 5xy makes negative 10x squared y. And 2x times positive 2y squared makes 4xy squared. Next, we're going to take the 3y and distribute it. 3y times 4x squared makes 12x squared y. So we're going to put that underneath this term right here. Next, 3y times negative 5xy is going to make negative 15xy squared. And last, 3y times positive 2y squared makes 6y cubed. And last, we're going to combine like terms. So this is our final answer. We have 8x cubed plus 2x squared y minus 9xy squared plus 6y cubed. This next problem is a trinomial times a trinomial. It's getting kind of crazy. 
We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this x cubed, distribute to all three terms over here. So x cubed times 2x squared is going to be 2x to the fifth. x cubed times 4x is going to be 4x to the fourth. x cubed times negative 1 makes negative x cubed. Next, we're going to take this 6x squared, distribute it to all three of these terms, and keep lining things up. So 6x squared times 2x squared makes 12x to the fourth. 6x squared times 4x makes 24x cubed. And 6x squared times negative 1 makes negative 6x squared. Finally, we're on the 1. Take the 1, distribute it to all three terms, and line them up. So 1 times 2x squared makes 2x squared. 1 times 4x is just 4x. And 1 times negative 1 makes negative 1. Now we're going to combine like terms. And finally, here's our final answer. This example says the dimensions for a rectangular prism are x plus 4, x plus 5, and x for the height. What is the volume of the prism? And then write the answer as a polynomial in standard form. So volume of a rectangular prism is going to be length times width times height. So I just took these expressions and we're going to multiply them out. I'm going to leave this x out in front for a second, and I want to foil these two binomials. So we have x times x makes x squared. When you multiply the outer terms, you get 5x. When you multiply the inner terms, you get 4x. So 5x plus 4x makes positive 9x. And finally, 4 times 5 makes 20. Last step, we're just going to take this x, distribute it to all three, and then we'll be done. And here's our answer for the volume of the rectangular prism.